If you work from home, your supervisor could be spying on you. They could be watching you on the computer. I'm not talking about behind the couch or in the hallway because that would be creepy, but they're observing you. There's this new program called Sneak. And essentially what this program does, it takes a picture of you every minute. So in an hour, there's 60 pictures of you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be picking your nose, yawning, trying to get something out of your eye, or maybe you went to the bathroom and it is steadily taking pictures and then it sends it to your supervisor. So it doesn't just stop there, right? Not, with, not just with that program. There's also time management programs that are installed on your computer. You do not know that they're on there. They're, they just exist on there and they're trying to detect how often you move the mouse how often are you typing on the keyboard, whether or not you're idle, right? Maybe you're not even at your desk and it's detecting this. And it goes a step above that also because it'll take screenshots of your desktop. So let's say you're doing some work. You've been doing work for about 30 minutes, knocking out some spreadsheets, and then all of a sudden you receive a notification that you have an email. So you check your personal email. Your personal inbox is showing on the screen and then click, it takes a picture. So now your boss knows all your emails that you have in your inbox. That seems like an invasion of privacy, right? But surprisingly, a lot of companies, and I'm talking about private companies for the most part, they are doing this. They are installing spyware on your work computer, your tablet, or your phone. So why are they doing this? Well, since the pandemic, more people have been working from home. And you've heard the stories about certain people were working two jobs, two full-time jobs at once. So they're earning two full-time salaries at once and they're balancing, it's like a balancing act between both employers. So this made the news in the Wall Street Journal. They published an article about it. There's even YouTube channels with people admitting to have done this. Now, this might seem not bad for you and me, but think about the job seeker out there that can't get a job, that's been trying to get his job, that's beating his head against the desk, trying to work for somebody and then you hear there's this guy who's pulling two salaries. I mean, <laughs> imagine how that might feel. And then you have employers that are worried they're not getting the full attention of their employees, which is a little interesting because if you look at it from the employee perspective, a lot of times your company is not worried about wasting your time. <laughs> You'll attend meetings that you probably don't need to be in, right? You'll be giving artificial timelines. So not too many people are worried about wasting your time, but if you're wasting the company's time, that's a whole nother matter, which is interesting because if you look at a lot of the studies out there, it shows that telework and remote work has been increasing the productivity in a lot of companies and organizations. Now, there are some professions out there like delivery driver or warehouse worker where they are already being tracked. There are workers at Amazon that are already being tracked by the minute. But a lot of people are saying that this type of surveillance wear, this type of tracking has increased over 50% since the pandemic. So it looks like in many of these cases, there has been a breach of trust between the employer and the employee. And because of this, a lot of employees have decided to quit. They're just not gonna put up with it. So you go ahead and you, you accept the job offer, you get a job, you bring home your new work computer, you start working two or three weeks and then all of a sudden, there's a picture of you itching your nose or you got your finger in your nose, your supervisor wants to talk about it, and then you realize you're under surveillance. How do most people feel when they're under surveillance? Even if you are back in the office, you never have somebody right in your face the entire time. You might talk to your supervisor or your manager or some coworkers, but most people that work in an office setting, they have a cubicle, right? And if somebody walks by their cubicle, they're gonna turn around and engage that person. So it seems like a very invasive practice and excessive. Who needs to take a picture once a minute? Now, if you work for the government, if you work for the federal government, there are policies out there that say you are expected to uh, answer your phone. Or if you miss a phone call within the next 15 minutes, you have to return the call. Or the same thing with the email. So there are expectations of you being active that show that you're active at work, but it doesn't go so far as taking pictures. In fact, there are some paranoid employees that will, they'll take a piece of tape and they'll just tape up their webcam. So that way they know for sure that no one's spying on them. Now, if you're watching this, maybe you're interested in federal government employment. And a lot of people, 
they'll they'll be interested in like, hey, maybe I'll get a government job, but they don't know what they qualify for. They don't know all the job series out there because there's hundreds of them. And many times people downplay their experience. They're like, well, I would like a government job, but all I've been doing is working at Target for the last three years. So I wanna share with you exactly what job series could line up with your experience. And if you would like to know that, if that interests you, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.